Now, let me conclude for a few minutes by introducing the idea of how we're going to perturb things. Um, so uh, how are we going to set up our perturbation theory? So So for the perturbation theory, we will do the following. We will take our system and introduce again, so setting up, up the perturbation expansion. So we want to give just an idea of what we're going to do. So h of t is going to be h of 0 plus delta of h of t. And now your lambda. It's going to be treated as small. So again, we're going to use a power series expansion. And everything is going to depend on lambda. And we're going to take coefficients in that way. We're, we're going to work with the state psi tilde. You remember, that if you know psi tilde, you put an e to the minus i h 0 t over h bar, and you can get h. So we'll set the perturbation for psi tilde. And it will have a zeroth part that is time dependent, plus a first part that is time dependent. Every term is going to be time dependent in the perturbation. And what was our Schrodinger equation? Our Schrodinger equation was i h bar d d t of psi tilde of t was delta h like that, um, times um, psi of t. But we did change things a little bit. We replaced delta h by lambda delta h. So now it's going to have a lambda here. So I now need to plug in this thing, which is not going to be too difficult. It's easier than what we did in time independent perturbation theory. DDT of psi 0. Let me not put the time dependence in the kets. Psi 1, lambda squared psi 2. And this is equal to um, lambda delta h bar psi tilde again. So it's psi 0 plus psi 1 plus those terms. So for here. We'll um, just read the first few terms. And they're pretty easy. There's no much of a lambda thing there. So what do we get? Terms without lambda. I h bar d d t of psi tilde 0 of t equals 0. This is lambda to the 0. That's the only term without a lambda, the one that arises here. Terms with order lambda already. Well, there's one term here, which is Schrodinger-like ddt of psi 1, is in fact equal to order lambda you have delta h tilde psi 0 of t. And the next one, i h bar d d t of psi 2 of t, 
that's lambda squared comes from the derivative acting here. We have to look for lambda squared here. And I forgot this lambda. And therefore, this time you get delta h psi 1 of t. In general, for lambda n, you will get i h bar d d t of psi n. Well, I'll actually put n plus 1, n plus 1 here is given by delta H acting on the previous one. So this will be simple. Once you know psi 0 of t, which is a constant, you put it here. This will be easily solved as an integral. You can, once you have psi 1, you put it here. You easily solve psi 2. And, uh, start solving one after another. The fun thing is that you can write these equations explicitly, and the, just even the first order result, and sometimes the second, give you all the physics you want, which we will explore in the next few lectures.